need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Ezra Taylor joins me, mate. Congratulations. Um, yeah, if I can say so, a really good performance from you tonight. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It was a, it was a hard fight, man. It was a good fight too. A good one to uh, get in a bank, get in a locker. And um, yeah, man, it's, uh, it was a step up and I, and I stepped up. I feel like I did what I needed to do. I've got things to work on. But um, respect to my opponent, man. He's tough as nails. But um, I had a big hammer, man, and I slammed it down. Yeah. Um, you talk about your opponent and it being a step up. It was a step up. Former English champion, um, I think British title challenger as well. When you look at kind of people around the 7 and 0, 8 and 0, 9 and 0 mark, a lot of them kind of take a lot of time before they're into a fight like this. Is it a bit of a statement tonight, making sure that you're getting in front of someone who's durable, who's kind of had them little bits of success in their career, just to prove that you're a prospect who's moving things on now? I believe so, man. I believe so. Um, I feel like I got to a point where I used to try, try to compete with, you know, the other light heavyweights out here. I'm just trying to do my own thing, man. I knew that was a challenge for me. I chose him personally. Um, I, I wanted to fight someone with good experience that's going to um, test me, which he clearly did in there as well. Um, and I prevailed, man. And that's the only way I'm going to get better. The next fight, when I, when I jump in that ring again, I'm going to be better. A better version of myself. That was my seventh fight. Like you said, many people don't do that. That was an eight rounder um, against someone who was top 10 in the UK. And I came out on top, man. So I feel like it's my time. Because with someone who's got the amateur pedigree you've got, and he's clearly a talented fighter like you are, um, could there be kind of, I guess, a sense of boredom creeping in when you're fighting guys who aren't giving you much, and perhaps don't have them little bits of career success like Joel's had? Um, could it come, kind of come a bit stale if you're consistently just fighting people who are giving you absolutely nothing? I believe so, man. Hey, listen, I sacrificed so much, so much um, for this sport, so much for my dreams. I haven't got time to be fighting these guys who are not giving me anything to work on and, and think about. So. When I jump in with people like that, it's only going to bring out the best in me. I have to be on my A game, man. Sometimes you get complacent and you switch off when you're fighting people that's not going to give you a challenge in front of you. So if I want to become world champion, there's only one way to do that, I believe. And that's what, I'm doing, what I've done tonight. And, um, and I'm ready to keep doing that as well. I'm not going to shy away. More, it's, it's going to be a harder challenge next time. Potentially 10 rounds, maybe do another eight round or then we're going to start pushing on for title fights, man. Um, because I've only had 18 amateur fights. This is my seventh fight in, professional, in a professional ranking. A lot of people probably be questioning why am I doing this, but I believe in myself. Uh, my team believe in what we're doing and uh, we work hard, man. So, so why not? Mate, the shot selection was wicked throughout the fight um, and the finish. Some mean intention behind that, I could tell. Of course, man, 100%. I feel like... You've you got to put your man away, ain't you? You want to like, be conclusive with it. Yeah, ideally I would, man. But you know, sometimes it's best to just... I just wanted to get the win. I wanted to get the experience. I know I was going to win anyway, man. God's got me regardless, but I just wanted to get the win. How that came... It, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm happy that I was able to make it entertaining for people because we're in the entertainment business. But I'm in the hurt game as well. I managed to entertain and hurt. So I ticked two big boxes, I believe, and another personal box for me because I got the experience in. Yeah. Um, and just moving forward, you said you want title fights soon or title fights next. What sort of route do you prefer? Obviously, there's a traditional route with your area titles, English, British. Um, some people like to jump straight in and go to the kind of governing body, international belt routes and try and work their way up the rankings. What is your preference? My preference is, is, is anything, man. Anything that my Frank, Frank and uh, George and the team decide, um, I want to become a world champion. I'm not here to simmer in central area titles and stuff like that. No disrespect to anyone, but like, I'm really looking to head to number one. So whatever that may be, if that has to be a British title fight, English title fight, the international WBAs, WBOs, anything, anything, I'm here for it, man. So. Um, I don't want to be looking. I don't want to be looking at a limit. Sky's the limit for me, man. So, yeah, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll evaluate. Hopefully, I'm back out in December, um, and then yeah, we're pushing on. Yo, who knows, man? I could be English English champion by the end of the year. Yo, Ricky Summers, look out, man. Well, it's definitely going to be exciting, um, and it has been so far, and it will continue to be following your journey. And but like you said, there's only one way it ends, and that's Ezra Taylor, world champion. That's Ezra Taylor, world champion, man. You heard it here. Not first. I've said it too many times. But, you know, like I said, I believe it in my heart. Um, I have faith in, in what I'm doing. I've got the right team around me. I've got, you know, uh, the Lord on my side. 
And yeah, man, we're here for it, man. We really are here. You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot up at it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 